Welcome to Info Support Videos. This is Harshit Agrawal, and I am here to discuss how to create security group. The agenda of this meeting is uh, what is security group and how to create a security group. Very first, we will discuss about what is security group. A security group is a collection of permissions that determine what data users can access from a source database when you run a database archive project. You can define security groups for the source connections in the ILM. and the permissions in the security group will define which entities can be selected while archiving or retirement uh, when you create or edit security group you can configure properties for general informations permissions as well as the users how to create a security group for creating a security group we need to log in to the ilm web ui then after we need to go to the administration as well as manage security groups there the existing security groups will be listed we can also create, click on the new security group or edit the existing one once we will click that there will be following information will be displayed like security group name connection description and others we need to enter the following detail other details as well as we need to click on the add permissions there we need to add permissions like custom app and entity one of the options will be there we will see that things also in demo and once we will do that after that we need to click on the user add user and provide the user for which you are going to give the permissions after that you need to click on the save so this is the window that will be appeared once we'll click on the create or edit a security group and uh, we'll see all these things in a demo itself so this is the ilm web ui so we need to log in to the ilm web ui go to administration manage security group the existing security groups will be listed here we can click on the new security group to create a new security group these all things we need to fill and uh, along with that uh, we can see uh, we'll see also the need of the security group like if in the edm we will see there is a one entity in the application one product family version there is one entity dd underscore test underscore entity we want to archive this entity okay so what we will do we will create one project so this is the same ilm instance so we will create one archive project that is test security group project we'll select the source connection mm. yeah we'll select the target connection click on next if you want to add this entity you will see that that entity is not being listed here the reason of this is that because the security group for that entity is not defined if you want to archive that entity we need to create the security group for that entity uh, we need to click on the source connection we can provide also the description for our security group like security group for for dd test entity we need to click on yeah here the custom app for the complete product family version and the entity we can select Uh, once we'll click on entity we can select the entity which we want to select like dd test entity here we want to archive we can click on the user and give the required entity privilege to the required user once we'll click on save it will say that security group created successfully after that if we'll click on add entity we can see that that entity is available in the list now we can archive that entity okay so for any kind of feedback we would love to hear from you you can share your feedback at support videos@informatica.com as well as in the given twitter link thank you